Well, hello there. Good times, but Scar here. Whoa. Whoa, what is that? What is that coming down the hallway? Where are those tentacles? Davy Jones? Whether ye be brave or fool enough to seek a cursed pirate's treasure, proceed. Oh, there he is, Wally, with the impression of the of the century. With oh, uh, just just goofing, just goofing. You guys know you've been to Disneyland Pirates of the Caribbean. After a couple of drops, you see a little water projection. Just playing. You know, what the reason I'm putting it on here is I'm trying to get it archived because they're about to change it. So I just want to make sure everybody knows what he said right there. Yes, and it is. You know, you know, whenever the weather is starting to turn fine, there's one thing I think of, Wally. What's that? What do you got? It's Disneyland. When the weather is fine, when the weather is fine, you got Disneyland on your mind. It is. Every time it gets sunny out and the weather starts to warm up, all I think about is going to Disneyland. Get into the parks. Get into the parks, you know. The nice thing about Disneyland is it could be... It could be, you know, hotter than Hades outside, but once you get into those lines, you know, the majority of the lines are nice and air-conditioned, and I think they call them cues, but you know, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you get the point. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's, whenever summer comes, that's what I think about, time to go to Disneyland. They're doing the fireworks every night, everything's lined up, they try and have all the rides running, you know, there's no big, no big refurbs going on in the summer, it's the best time to go. Best time. Best time, of course. I have gone in the rain. It, it's it's an interesting experience. I wouldn't always recommend it as the best experience to be had. I I agree. You know, I was I, I ended up having to buy a poncho for like seven dollars. I mean, this is a plastic <laughs> bag, folks. It, it's a garbage can or a garbage. Excuse me, it's a garbage bag. Garbage can would have been the same thing. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. People, the parks just clear out, especially if it's at night. Um, but you know, you get water in your shoes, and you got to walk a long ways, and nobody wants blisters. Yes, but it is summertime, and uh, yeah, so this year is pretty exciting. Two new rides. Well, Star Tours is an old ride that's you know re been reimagined. Now, now answer this, Scar, being the Disneyland expert, you mm. are. Everybody's crazy about Star Tours. I'm seeing it on at, at Chevron. There's uh, there's billboards all over the place. And the thing is, is like you're saying, it's you know, it's just a ride that had a little, you know, it had a facelift, a, a big facelift at that, not just a little mm -hmm. thing, sixty to um, seventy million dollar facelift. There, you know, that, that's 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 more than you know, Joan Rivers and what is that other guy, Brian Peppers, that weirdo looking guy. Anyway, so but the other thing is, is so yeah, that's that's an older ride. It's been bumped up. But what about a brand new ride? Why isn't it getting the same press as Star Tours? Is it just because it's in everybody? You know, everybody knows Star Tours or what? It must be because the Little Mermaid is opened in California Adventure. Right across the way from Disneyland, and yeah, it's not getting the press that uh, Star Tours is getting. You know, I guess because with the Star Tours name and um, you know being in Disneyland Park, and that one's over in California Adventure, which is kind of like the, the sad stepchild of Disneyland. But they're fixing yeah. it up. 1.1 billion's been spent on that park to to reimagine it. They're doing the time. They're reimagining. They're reimagining some things over there. And that's you know that that's the other thing is don't forget. Uh, if you're a new guy, you're you're new guy. You've never been to Disneyland. You show up and you, you're you're making all sorts of mistakes. Of course, mm -hmm. uh, don't just go into Disneyland. Don't and and absolutely do not just go into Disneyland California. If you don't get a park hopper, you're making a huge mistake. Check them both out. Yeah, you, yeah, Thanks both. It's very true. Yes, we should do a whole commentary on how to properly experience Disneyland. I agree. That's coming up. That will come up. Well, you know, we're going to do step by step because there's some. You just see the mistakes. And the other thing is, don't be that guy at the park when somebody doesn't know anything comes to you who also doesn't know anything and they say hey you know why is this ride like this or why is that doing that and you just it, sometimes there's just things at Disneyland that don't make sense and you try and think of it in like a logical way and tell that person back you're probably wrong so just don't give any info just say I don't know I'm, I'm loving it you know you're loving it. Up, you know just do, do your whole little you know whatever you have to do don't give misinformation about the park it drives me nuts it, yes, agreed, agreed. Yeah, so so the Little Mermaid uh, and Star Tours too have opened up at the resort. Great stuff. I'm looking forward to it. I don't. What about some small stuff? I mean, is there little things for people to look for? Are they planting some new plants? Are there green beans growing for everybody to pick? Or you know, what what's new? Yeah, you know, Tomorrowland's always got the edible food options. Let me tell you guys about something here real quick before Scar continues on. If if you don't have a lot of dollars, and let's face it, Disneyland can be very expensive, especially mm -hmm. for a large family. Mm -hmm. Here's here's my solution to you. All right, Safeway or any grocery store that has that little marketplace where they have the salads and whatnot, well, they have dressing there like ranch, Italian, whatever it, whatever it be. They have that stuff there for you for free. It's in these little packets. All you got to do is ask. Get a bunch of those packets, all right? Get some of those big Ziploc bags and get a couple of plastic forks, all free of charge except maybe you got to buy some Ziplocs. 
bring those into the park in your backpack. Cruise around Tomorrowland. There's peppers, lots of these different like red, green, orange. There's peppers everywhere, beans, everything. Find everything edible. Get it all off the plants. Put it in the bag. Squirt all that dressing in there. Shake that thing up. If you want to add croutons, you add every crouton. Crouton, you know, everything in there. Shake it up. Boom. Salad. You're good to go. You know, there's not a lot of trans fats, and, mm. and you'll enjoy it. Mm, yes. That, that. I don't condone that. <laughs> I don't, you know, in case, in case there's trouble. But it's just an idea. It you is know, an idea because, you know, Tomorrowland is all planted with edible foods. That's true. And in these economic times, you know, it's just an option for you, for your family. You want to go to Disneyland, but you don't want to spend the big bucks on having dinner with a mouse or something. Or, you know, who knows what Goofy is. But, yeah, just just do that. Do the salad thing. Yeah, okay. That sounds like good. I actually have a little story real quick also. Uh, we, were, we were going through the security checkpoints to go into the park. You know, they search your bags and look in your, look in your pockets. Uh, somebody had an Indian picnic Well, going there was a, a, a lady uh, ahead of us with a stroller. And, Heavy set? And she... A little, uh, a rather okay. large uh, rear there? end. Um, no, yeah. There it is, posterior. Yes, and so the security guy opens up the Why bag, and she had literally two loaves of bread, like a giant piece of, of <laughs> ham, to, and, oh, geez. and then like, like a block of cheese. Like Disneyland does not like allow like like a, like an entire uh, refrigerator worth of food to be brought into well, the park. Scott, what did she bring in the deli? I think probably the person behind her had the meat slicer. She had the knife. She had like a six-inch carving knife. And, like, the person, like, pulled it up by the handle, like, no. And then, like, put up her hand, like, to call in the rest of the security. Oh, that's classic. Well, I guess if that didn't work out, she could have gone over into Fantasyland and tried to pull the sword in the stone. You know, that I don't know if it's probably a dull tip, but it might, you know, cut through a little bit. I, I love Disneyland. I love the characters, and the, there are animals there, and there's all this kind of stuff. And There's just one thing that I really don't like about Disneyland, and it's, like, it's those things, because, and you've seen these, they, they've got, like, the heads... They have heads and little hands. Oh, kids. Oh, like yes, the, the, the little children. Yeah, they're gone. Out of here. Out of here. I And they you see adults kind of back off, like when the kid wants to do something, and, all oh, right, yeah, let them run up there or whatever. But I I'm, I can't do that. I'm here, too. What what gives them the right? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. What gives this kid the right to be to see Mickey Mouse? <laughs> yeah, my ticket was more expensive than his. It was out of here you know quit playing games with us anyway so that's that's my thing but i'm stoked i can't wait i'll be out there labor day weekend labor day weekend yep and also uh, goofy goofy's flight school is another attraction opening at california adventure and then now, then what's, get... what's the story on that it, was there a cartoon was there a goofy was there a cartoon that this is based off of or is it just some goofy's kind of glider was a cartoon in like the 30s or 40s oh those are the best ones yes and uh for the future so so for the future in California Adventure 2012 summer, Cars Land, based on the Pixar movie Cars, is opening, and it's like a giant land, like with a giant um, Raider Springs racers. It's like you get in a little race car and you zoom around in the mountains, and uh, then there's another ride opening, Luigi's Tires, and you're actually oh, on that? floating tires. And you, it's like bumper floating cars. Tires. Now, what, what is supporting these off the ground? What do you like? There's a string. You're hanging from like a mobile kind of thing, or <laughs> no? It's air currents. And it lists oh, up. like the old UFO ride that they used to have back in the 50s. Yes, just like that, but better technology. Better technology, probably a smoother ride, maybe a little bit higher up? Yeah, or a just... little higher. Actually, it holds two people. Oh, a double, a double seater. There you go. You bring your date there. You bring, well, you know, if you're a larger person, probably just you, but you know, you'll figure it out. You'll yeah, work it out. Be perfect. You know, you got the mountains. They're like 100 and I think they're 135 feet tall, and it's going to be awesome. Summer 2012. Good time. I, I'm looking forward to Cars Land. Are there going to be elements from Cars 2, or is it they're specifically basing this off the characters from the first one? They're adding hints in the, the rides, uh, in some of the ride cues of Cars 2, but it'll be primarily based on Cars, the original. Okay. I'm looking forward to the second one, but, you know, there, there's always different things. So. Yeah. Well, Wally, I'm looking forward to going to Disneyland. I think you are, too. I am, too. I'll see you Labor Day. Uh, uh, my, my wife and I are actually doing a half marathon out there. We're going to do the pizza in the park with the characters and the you know the pat on the backs and all that stuff. So. And the, and the photos. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. This has been Good Times with Scar with and Wally. We'll see you later.